Shalom, friends. Days are getting darker, colder, and shorter, and we're getting ready for a Hanukkah holiday that promises to be different from years past. But we will do what our people have been doing for the last couple of thousand years. We will light those Hanukkah candles that bear witness to our Jewish story and our resiliency. You know, there's a debate in the Talmud, actually, about how to light the Hanukkiah, the Hanukkah menorah. One rabbi, Shammai, says that we're supposed to start with all eight candles on the first night and then take one candle away on each succeeding night, ending with one. Hillel argues with him and says, actually, we start with one candle and then add a candle a night until we end with eight candles on the last night. I assume most of you know who won that debate because we light candles today, according to Hillel. And this isn't just a technical argument. It's actually a debate about worldviews. You see, for Shammai, the real event is the miracle itself. And every single day of Hanukkah, we're getting further and further away from that miracle, so we diminish the light. But for Hillel, no. Every single day of Hanukkah, we add one candle because our best days are yet to come, and we have a role to play in making sure that that happens. These past nine months of this pandemic, that's exactly what we've been doing. We've been adding one candle at a time, bringing light in the midst of darkness, millions of dollars for people's basic needs, technology grants so synagogues could connect with their communities, and individuals who are socially isolated can stay connected to the people they love, hot meals on Jewish holidays for people in need, one candle at a time, increasing the light. That's what we've been doing together. And we at CJP couldn't do any of this without all of you. Thank you so much. And a special thank you to my amazing colleagues here at CJP for the sacred work that they do day in and day out.